Hello, Daz Studio patrons. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, today I want to address a question I got from one of my subscribers, and it's a really good question that I have found frustrating a lot of times. And that is, how do we stop a character from moving when we engage certain poses? Now, what is happening when you have a preset pose is some of these preset poses are going to move the character back to their 0, 0, 0 coordinate. So their XYZ uh, system, when you put them into a pose, goes back to zero. And some poses do this while other poses don't. And there is a fix to this. Now, I've had a couple of my subscribers actually give the answers in the comment section of the video where my uh, patron asked the question. But I thought I would make a quick tutorial for this Tuesday to just kind of talk about how we can do that. And what I've noticed is if you have your character anywhere else in the scene, then she just moves and disappears. Now, there's, I guess, two ways that we can deal with this. The first way is always keep your character at the zero coordinate. And I got to admit, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Now, in this case, Milica... In this pose, she almost is at zero, zero, zero. In fact, if you look at this, uh, she's basically at my zero, zero, zero coordinate. But we're going to take a minute. I'm going to move her and I'll show you exactly what we mean. All right. So I have moved her and I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit and we're going to put her into a pose. I've got to find a pose that I know moves her back to our zero, zero coordinate. And that's going to be a pose I've got to find here. So let's find a pose. Now, one of the adult sets of poses that I really like is this Layla group. And they have all kinds of different poses. I kind of chose one that's not so risque. Uh, and if we select Milica and I select this pose, you're going to see that she's going to move to the 000, zero coordinate. See, she just moved back to zero, zero. In fact, she didn't completely move back to zero, zero, but um, she's at a negative 70 with the Y translate. But she basically resets with this pose. So what we're doing when we select the pose is we are causing our character to move. Now, if I want her to stay in this spot, I'm going to have to do a little bit of changes to my settings. Now, if I want her to go into this pose and not move to the zero, zero coordinate system, what I have to do is select the pose and then hit the control button, double click the control button, and then it comes up with this menu. Now with this menu, we can select obey limits or turn off limits. So if the pose goes beyond those limits, just hit turn off. What's interesting about this is we have rotation, translation, and scale. What is going to change everything is if we unselect the translation. Now, we're still going to have some movement, but it's not going to go back to her 0, 0, 0 uh, coordinate. So if I hit accept, she's going to go into this new pose relatively staying in the same place. And so you can see that that has occurred. Okay, so I know that's a quick tutorial, but this is kind of an annoying problem. And I get around it usually when I have to set up multiple characters. I will just simply make sure that all my characters are at the 0, 0, 0 coordinate because uh, it is a hassle to pose, and you probably already know this, but it is a hassle to pose if you've got multiple characters that are all very close together and you don't have 
them at the zero coordinate. It just doesn't seem to work very easily. And if I have characters that are not where they're supposed to be, and then I start posing multiple characters, I learn really quick that I've just got to adjust the scene so that my characters are at zero, zero, and that all of the scene around them is moving. So to do that, it's really simple. Just make everything into a group that's in the scene around your character. So I can take Milica, for example, here, and she's almost at zero, zero anyway. I can put her at zero, zero. And this is like putting her way up high, but that's okay. And then all I'm going to do is take the garden. In this case, all I have is the garden, but you can take the garden and any other things that go with the garden, like the spotlights. I have them turned off because I'm using sun and sky right now. But just to show you this, we can highlight everything that we want to group, go to create a new group, just name this the garden. And then once I have the garden in there, then I can just raise it up to match Milica. I found that it's much easier to do this with multiple characters than it is the other way around. But you can go to that menu with your control button and you can get things adjusted. So that I hope helps. I'm not really crazy about this particular pose that Milica is in. So to make a thumbnail, I'm gonna have to be really careful with which ones I choose. But um, I think with this thumbnail, we're going to make a nice pose like this. All right, sexy Milica. Wow. Okay, so I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. I, you know, didn't really go over necessarily all of that menu, but I went over what is important to me trying to pose my characters. So if you have other suggestions, I always say that posing is probably the hardest part of Daz Studio, getting it correct. You can see I'm trying to adjust her arm and hand right now. So it is one of the hardest things to do and it takes a little bit of time and effort, but it's well worth it once you have your character set up. So let me know what you think. I hope you're having a good week. Happy Tuesday, and until Friday, happy rendering. Let's get Milica looking good here.